coming in as we're talking here. All right, and so. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm back. All right, <laughs> do the intro show, man, because I'm not, I'm not doing this show. Because this one is tough for me. Hey, it's tough for Hero, because deep, deep down in Hero's heart, Hero understands what we're about to talk about right now. For those of you guys who who didn't see our last live, we spent quite a bit of time talking about dating apps, talking about relationships. Uh, the differences between the way men approach things and the way women pro- approach things in dating and relationships. So, if you if you and, and if you happen to live under a rock and you have not seen this world star hip hop video of the Godfather himself, Kevin Samuels, shout out to the Godfather, peace and blessings to the Godfather. He had a video come out um, about a week ago, went viral. He had a conversation with. Uh, a young lady now if you don't know who kevin samuels is he is a youtuber who talks about uh, dating and relationships he also talks about personal growth and development he's an image con- a corporate image consultant and a former uh corporate executive and now he does youtube um and he he talks on certain things mainly talks about ladies and re- and re- <coughs> how black women are he mainly talks about black women and what he does is he opens his after his monologue he opens the call line up and allows ladies to call in and speak on the topic now this particular video you're about to see was about a young lady who called in and she says she she has a pet grooming business and she makes six figures in this pet grooming business but she wants to date a successful man she's well in her 30s she's never been married been in a very few relationships and thinks that she deserves a high value man a guy who's six foot tall six pack six figures the whole kitten caboodle she thinks she deserves that just because of where she is in her life and he had to tell her look ma'am all that stuff you've accomplished in your life men don't care about that listen men are easy men are shallow let's just be real can we just put it out there and not in the sense that you got to be the stereotypical American beauty. It's just that, do I find you attractive enough to have intercourse? That's not very difficult. <laughs> um, can you can you make me like, can you make me a sandwich? Can you make me a one pot meal? Can you make me a steak? Can you make me a casserole? Like that's all, and, and, and a bowl of cereal. That's all I'm asking for. <laughs> That's all we ask for. We ask for nothing. Okay, you made me a bowl of cinnamon toast crunch for real, for real. I'm just saying, and this and this is and this is the thing. So as we get into the video, uh, we'll we'll see where he basically tells her, "Ma'am, listen, you 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 have unrealistic standards. You're average at best, and you probably need to to dial it down." And he was lambasted on the World Star and the interwebs. All right. So, okay. And we'll, we'll get to it. Let's just hear him out. Uh, let's just hear him out for, for right now. So I'm going to let this play for a little bit, too. A six-figure guy uh, is what I'm realizing. Okay. And, ma'am, and that's my point. You ladies all feel like, listen, you ladies all feel like you're the exception to the rule. And then when someone like myself comes along and gives you a, a dose of reality, instead of just accepting it, it's like, yeah, but. Yeah, but I'm special. You don't know any men on this level that are not your father, that aren't related to you. That means you don't know these men. You don't know where to go get them. You don't know what they want. But you're still saying, pick me. They don't want mid-30-year-old baby mamas. I'm trying to be polite, man, but they don't want those. Can I ask you a question? Did you hear what I said? Yes. <laughs> Why is that so? Okay, go ahead. Why is it so? What is? Go ahead. Um. <laughs> my 
from my point of view, I feel like I, I get what you're saying. They, they they do have better options, but also those better options are younger girls. Those younger girls don't necessarily are necessarily twenty year olds are not necessarily attracted to forty five year olds. Bullshit. Um, Bullshit. I'm fifty one and I and I can't beat them off with a stick. Mm-hmm. That's another one on you lies. No, younger women are always younger women are attracted to older That's men. That's a lie. What are you talking about. So can you see me? Yes, I can. Okay. So do you feel like a woman like me? Uh huh. What would you rank yourself on a scale from one to ten? You cannot use seven. Oh, would I rate myself? Mm, just your face. I haven't seen this part. Um, my face when I wake up five, but when I put myself together six. She said five. Okay. And how tall mm-hmm. are you? Five five. Dress size. I'm sorry? Your dress size. A three. Okay. So that makes you, if you give yourself a five, that's average. Yes. So average looking women tend not to get high earning men. They tend to get average men. Okay. I'm going to stop here real quick and let's mm-hmm. let's just talk right, real quick on this. Okay. There's a part of me that will forever be super critical, super critical of black men who talk down to black women. Mm, not me, not me. And 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 not like and it'll it'll just be a nervous twitch. Like say for example, mm-hmm. like if some Candace Owens was saying some dumb shit, mm-hmm. I twitch, but I know what she what that person was saying about her was probably true. Like it was some dumb shit. So in this situation, I have a twitch reaction. Like, bro, if you don't shut the fuck up, I'm a, I'm gonna knock your ass out. But my reaction is because of how he's doing it. Because he, in an effort to make her, f- there's, there's gotta be something, like some, there's gotta be some notion where your objective isn't to cause someone harm. You could have told her this same stuff without causing. A direct no, impact, have. and, no, and this have. is what I mean. No, for example, he, he and this is he, what he I'm going to use. And this is what I'm going to use. He says, "Hey, you're a 38 year old woman with a child and a business," and he uses that as a detriment because being 38 isn't a problem. Owning yes, a business, owning owning a business isn't a problem. Having a child isn't a problem. It's a problem for you. So all he had to say in that situation is, "Ma'am." All you need to do is find a man who values those things as much as you do. So I think the time. But here, like- but so no, no. But here, here's what he's talking about. He's talking about a, a man that we would consider high value, not and not a dude that's appropriately balanced to her. We're talking about a high six figure earner who can command the attention of a 25 year old. Now the part. No, what the what he's what he. If you the the thing is, a lot of people watch this, and they only because I've been watching him for like eight months religiously. And the thing that I noticed about what what he's actually trying to do. See, somebody like you, if you watched ten of his videos, um, you would understand. He talks about the marital rates in the black community, and the reason why he's so aggressive is he says, "Black women, you're the most unmarried." group of women in this country 74 percent of black women are not married and this is a, st- a statistic i remember we i ended up going over these statistics with you hero i mean it's been a few months ago but we went over the statistics this is an insane thing like this is something that we don't value and um for all intents and purposes i think that we have a huge gap in between what men want and what women want Sometimes I, I I think it's the same, but then I see the actions of men and women, and I'm like, no, we're we're completely incongruent, especially in the black community. Marriage is not something that we place a, a value on anymore. And so the thing that he's trying to tell her is a high value man. And what's a high value man? A high value man, again, like I said, is a high six figure earner, a man of status, a man who is in very um, upper echelon circles moves in different crowds um again has a, a, a really good network and is extremely successful um very cultured very stylish has his all of his stuff together he spent the last five years of his on his youtube channel yelling at dudes and 
y'all think this is bad y'all should hear someone to go back three four years and find the conversations where he's talking to do yo he is worse to the to black men than he is to women. but I, I, I we don't have those videos so we're gonna come on and talk for now my mm -hmm. this is, and i think i'm gonna stick to this idea you can tell someone how to get better without tearing them down you can give something called constructive criticism. You can give something called uh, the, the the right of way in a situation. You can be gracious. You can be sympathetic. You can be empathetic. I, I, I remember you telling me this guy's divorced. Twice. So he's, he's part of the problem. Oh, he, he'll, he'll say, yeah, I'm divorced. I probably won't get married again. And so he admits, it, he says, so, I, I made poor choices in my relationship. Yeah, okay. So, so like, you and, don't do that. So, like, there's a part of me that makes me not want to, and I think he's, he, he basically, this, and you can tell, there's something, and we, and we know this about psychology, that there's certain, there's certain forms of, like, depression that you need to feel enabled, like, you need to feel a certain level of pain to justify your reactions to things. This guy is literally running her through the dirt and you can even hear her voice start to crack and her nervous twitches where she picks up her phone to like kind of deflect. You're attacking, at that point, you're now an attacker. That's an assault. Like you, you as a man have to also understand the power you wield in this situation. And I don't think he did mm. the right thing by continuing to push forward. He should have just left, like he's, he, he the setting is a therapeutic setting. But I didn't feel like she got any therapy from this. If if you're if you're gonna do this to your viewers, I think you have to be, you you have to one take some pleasure in shut, hurting these people. But two, you gotta have you gotta be responsible enough to know that if she jumped off a building the day after, that you hold some responsibility in that. See, and, and I don't think he wants that on his conscience. Oh, he he doesn't, but he'll be the first to say because somebody tried to hit him with that a couple of times, and he he got very angry about it. That's not his that's not his purpose at all. But the thing is, he's like the accountability has to be there. Number number one, and the reason why he's so aggressive about it is because he says, "Ladies, fifty four percent of black men in this country are childless and in the middle class." But it, why and, why do you want the top ten percent of men, especially if you're average? You have not merited that. Eric, that, that Go to the. <laughs> that is literally human nature. As a human being, no, I it's not. The, no, no, it's no, not no, human no, nature. It is, it is human nature. Let me explain. If I came up to you and gave you the option between a Honda Civic and a GT Malibu, I mean GT Bugatti, for free, which one you taking? I'm gonna take the. I'm gonna take the supercar. Okay, so it is true that we do aim. For things we do aspire to grab things that are probably out of our grasp that's normal exactly so to your point if i have honda civic money but i want a bugatti which car am i going to buy it's not if, the car necessarily that i want it's the car that i can afford so i have to be realistic enough to say hey even though my dream car is a bugatti but how do you if i haven't put in the work to get a bugatti you can't put, but that, but this is where the conversation falls apart because you can't put a monetary value on on looks on yes you can no you can't yes you can any, like bro what are any, you talking about bro you can't put a va monetary men value men on have like been that. putting monetary value on looks no we for have value you. on that but you can't put a monetary value on that like men okay hero let me ask you a series of questions all right how when was the before the before the bug how many times a week did you go how, no how many times a month would you go on a date with a girl Twice a week, so what? Twice a week, four. Twice weeks, a, eight, so that's eight, eight dates, eight dates a month. Mm -hmm. On average, how much did you spend on those dates, or did she pay? How many times did the girls pay? None. Exactly. When? Why did you pay? I know my role. Okay. So first, you know your role. So if you have a role, the other person has a role too. Yeah. So you pay for the date. Okay. Um. Did you? How? Out of out of those eight dates. How many times did you clap some cheeks? <laughs> let's uh, just be let's just be real. Like on the first night, or just any uh, yeah of all those women. Let's just pick any random month. You went on eight dates on average. Okay, so if I use okay, if I'm using that as I probably like what four. Okay, so fifty percent on average. How much did you spend on the on the date? Sixty and up. Okay, so you so you got you clap cheeks for sixty dollars. <laughs> no, that's not how I look at it. 
Because even why? Be, because, why? Because for me, I didn't pay for that sex. Sex just happened to happen. Sex just happened to happen. Yeah, like I like I don't see a value in like I don't take people out just so I can have sex. I'm a grown ass. I, I I know you don't take people out to have sex. So like for me, but that's like, not your perspective. Yeah. But you know how many? How many? I'm just speaking. This is anecdotally. I have had ladies that are friends with my wife come over here and say, yeah, I just swipe right on this dude on uh, on this dude because I needed a food decal. What? But okay, but that's somebody's prerogative. And also No, no, no. This has happened quite a bit online. See, the 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 way that the the social dynamic is set up, even though we live in a world where women's equality is at the forefront of our society, there's still traditions that men are expected to uphold. One of those being are you going to ask me on the date? Are you going to make the first move for something physical? Are you going to you you still and lady hold on ladies in in the, in the in the chat box? Please let me know. Let me know. Would you ever propose to a guy? Okay, that's one. That's a reach. Because no 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 no. The, the point I'm making is that there are certain things that men <laughs> men have to to do and are expected to do because they have to do them so it's 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 innate okay bringing it all the way back all i'm saying to this dude in this situation is if you want to give advice to women as a man you have to first understand where they're coming from and two you have to be empathetic from where they're coming from if you can't meet them on their level then you don't need to be talking to them because you're at this point in the game his point was to basically tell her she need her, not her his, the point should have been for him to tell her go get you a man that values you but instead he told her no man will ever value you and that's and that's the message she took so i don't like that aspect of it but i mean let's see what some of these chats are saying um yeah yeah, so we got some chats over here. <laughs> here they go. I, I get on my soapbox and then. Okay, so let's go. Out, let, out real here. quick. Real quick. Quita, uh, Quita has told us that. Hero, I'm sorry. I definitely watch on the regular. Uh, your partner is an asshole. <laughs> hey, listen. And I, I mean, and you can come over here and pucker up to this asshole anytime. Anytime <laughs> you want to. And if yeah. you're gonna call if you're gonna talk shit, at least hop over into YouTube and talk shit so I can give you that smoke back. Uh, hey, she, she, she's probably watching, she'll probably come back on. But she ain't she not in the comment section, so it don't and count. Three, two comments after that. We hit a hundred comments in the chat, so thank you guys. That's a clap to you. Jesse Bridgerin, hey. That's a clap to you guys. Thank you guys for yeah. being in here. Um I yeah, like uh, the consensus in the chat is that this guy went too far. Proposal is a no. Uh, let's see. Keisha says proposal is no. Whether you want to follow society expectations, your own, is your own. That's your preference. And then another thing my sister mentioned is uh, not everyone. Not everyone wants to be in a relationship, and not everyone should be in a relationship. Uh, as Ag I'm proof. gonna completely agree with that. So, but the, the shout but out to the Jess. people. I see Jess. Yeah, but the people that come on to Kevin Samuel's show, they want to be in a relationship. They want this kind of a man. See, there's a series of questions that he asks. He says, do you want to be married? Yes or no? Yes. Do you, how many children do you want? Yeah, on average, I say two or three, maybe four. He says, and after you're pregnant, do you want to work to pay significant bills? They say no. Okay, so you want to be a stay-at-home wife? Yes. Okay, so how much does a man need to make on average in this country, in any major city, Dallas, Austin, Houston, New York, Chicago, Miami, L.A., how much money on average, depending on where you are, does a man need to make? The thing is, they never, ever give him the correct answer, something that they haven't even thought about. I had a young lady over here, 28 years old. I asked her similar questions yesterday. And she's a friend of me and my wife. We had her over for dinner. We were just rapping. And they were talking. Um, and I asked her these questions. She was like, you know what? I haven't even thought about that. I was like, oh, seriously? Yeah. But it is, it is what it is, man. I'm not going to disagree totally with Hero. He, uh, so, uh, there's been plenty of times where I've caught this guy misunderstanding or misinterpreting what the woman was actually trying to convey. Yeah. Because he has a a preconceived idea about 
the sum of these ladies. And so he just overlays that onto them. Um, some people come on there and they're really disrespectful, but, but there have been times where I'm like, bro, chill, like, hold on. She's, she doesn't mean what you think she means. And so it's just a, a blank, a blanket thing. And, and I'm not going to disagree with and, what Hero said, and to said here. And point, I think this is a, a, a good teaching moment. Go see a therapist, people. Straight stop, up. Stop the, hey, one of my favorite catchphrases, social media is no place to, to air your grievances. Social media no. is no place for you to go and talk about your feelings. That's what therapists no. are for. And more than ever, I don't know why people, like the stigmatism, uh, the stigma behind therapists should slowly be disappearing. But black people need to talk to someone who's ve- who has a vested interest in seeing you <laughs> being be great. And you so, know what's so ironic that. about that hero? What? He talks about that all the time. Black people need therapy. <laughs> yeah, and to the, uh, and I think that should be his, his catchphrase because like he's he's putting through, women through trauma, man. He need to be paying some of these goddamn bills because nah, <laughs> bro, Listen, bro. no, 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 no. They called they they called in for that. Like these women watched this show. They knew what it was before they got in the Zoom room. If you didn't want him to talk to you that way, why the heck are you on this channel? And why did you click the link to go in the Zoom room to have a conversation with him at the risk um, of not um, getting embarrassed or your feelings hurt or have you felt or arguing or upset? Like you signed, you signed up for that class, so you gotta take that L. I'm sorry, no, no, no pity on that part. You know, he needs to, he can be in control, but at the end of the day, it's his platform. He can say whatever he wants, however yeah, he wants. And, that's, and, and this is our platform. And we thank you guys for joining us. This was an episode. This was a show. A little bit of jabs thrown in the chats. I love to see it. Oh, uh, we sure love it. Duck, make sure you dodge. Throw the hook, not mm. the straight. Come on. But this has been a show. <laughs> uh, you guys, we want to know what you guys really think. And while you're telling us about what you think, make sure you like, make sure you share this with other people. Make sure you let people know, like, this is something that we do, you know, daily episodes up to, uploaded daily on the channel. Like, share, subscribe. Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, which is the home spot. So make sure you click on the bell, get all the notifications, and stay up to date with us. Uh, if you don't want to look at our faces but want to continue to embrace us, that's perfectly fine because you can do that on iTunes, Spotify, uh, Player FM, Anchor, and leave us a voicemail. The link is in the description, and if it's good enough, we'll play it. Uh, but that's just been our stuff. This has been me and Eric's perspective. Yep. Uh, she shared it. So he said, yeah, we're going to keep saying it. But uh, we yeah. appreciate you guys. Uh, <laughs> and we'll catch y'all a little bit later on the next show, which is coming up right now. Right now. Yeah. Hey, Bridget, you got something in your beard. I was waiting for that outro. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not even looking at the screen no more. What happened? That's all right. I, that's what you got me here for. I'm watching your six. <laughs> and it, and now you got it out, bro. It was okay. right in the, in your chin. Nobody was, in the chat said nothing. Y'all fake. They, they was gonna let you. They were gonna let you rock. Especially Y'all was gonna na- let me rock with this lit, lit beard. <laughs> that's um, all right. You got. That's what you got. That's what you got a brother for. Because your sister was gonna just let you man. have a uh, lit lit in your in your beard like that. Y'all was out here gonna let me be hurt. All Keisha, right. what's your question? The doc has a question. Hey, hey, just just so y'all know, Jesse will be on the on the podcast very soon. We're setting up some dates. Uh, uh, <laughs> listen, Keisha, that seemed like an offline question. She asked, "How many times did you clap the cheeks?" <laughs> Look, Keisha, you you have my number. Let's uh, let's keep it professional. Hey, yeah, hero is hero. Don't mind telling you where the bodies are buried, but you know you're gonna have to call offline. We don't want to be putting in business out here like that. Like I can ask him that question, he'll answer. He ain't got no problem. I went, you know, no one, but. no one is, no one is, no one in this chat is in disbelief that hero is not a virgin. If you are, I'm sorry to inform you, but someone let this 300 pound beast on top of them. <laughs>